Hey, Brian here from RVWithTito.com. Thanks for joining me for another video in this series where we're remodeling our 11-year-old Class C motorhome, giving it a bit of a makeover. And uh, today is all about getting our new recliners installed in the spot where, uh, where our dinette used to be. But there's a lot to take care of before I do that, uh, like painting and some wiring. They are powered recliners, so they need some power. And I also want to do some prep work on the floor before we get those in. So that's what's happening today. Got a lot to do, so let's get started. Pretty exciting to uh, finally get these recliners in the RV. Almost ready to get them set up, but it's a little bittersweet because we've been using them in the house and testing them out in a living room watching TV and they are super comfortable. These are Rec Pro recliners, so they're from recpro.com and the ones we got, uh, there's two recliners and a center console. But uh, you may have noticed the first thing about these, which is really cool, is that they actually fit through the door of your RV. They come apart in two pieces and uh, they snap together really easily so you know each piece will easily fit through the door. I mean the bottom part is a little heavier so it might be a two-man job for a lot of people. Now I still got a little bit of uh, preparation to do on the floor here and for the electrical before I go ahead and uh, get the seats installed or the recliners installed. I, uh, I cleared out all the carpet before and removed all the staples that were there. It's just bare subfloor now, but I don't want it to just look like subfloor underneath. Even though the whole thing's going to be covered with the recliners, when they open and close, you'll still be able to see underneath. So I'm going to put down a, an inexpensive, kind of this dark gray colored uh, carpet that I had laying around. And it should cover the, the subfloor and actually seal it up nice after I remove some of the old bolts and stuff. Or those carriage bolts that are sticking up from the old uh, seat belt bracket. And uh, yeah, get this whole area tidied up as well as clean up some of the wiring and the electrical. These are powered uh, recliners, so I'm going to need to plug them in. So I'm going to have a dedicated uh, outlet there set up just for them as well. This is about uh, as good of a floor as I need uh, to get these recliners in. And like I said, the majority of this, or actually all of it's going to be completely covered by the recliners anyway, so you're not going to see any of this. I didn't need any real fancy carpet or floor covering here. But uh, I left a little bit on the front, uh, you know, I didn't cut it perfectly on the front edge because I still plan to put a nice piece of uh, trim around the front when it's all done and when I get the floor in the RV redone. So I want to wait till I get to that part, but I need a little bit of extra just in case I need to do something different down here. So a little bit extra to work with. And uh, the the spray that I put on the edges, you notice me put some of that contact spray. Uh, it's it's not permanent by any means. I just uh, sprayed some down so that uh, so that the carpet would uh, stay in place while I tack it down with some staples. But uh, if, if we were to tug on it, it'll, it'll certainly come right up. I think it looks good enough for me uh, for what I was going after for now. And I need to uh, take care of some electrical, and then uh, we'll be uh, able to uh, get these uh, recliners in.
Well, everything is all ready to go for the recliners to go in. Um, but like I mentioned before, there really isn't a whole lot to setting these uh, Rec Pro recliners up because they just snap into place and you plug them into power and you're pretty much off and running and that's all there is to it. So uh, I'm just going to start with one side and clip them together. I'm just going to start with the bases and then I'll uh, make sure all the uh, power connections are good and then I'll put on the uh, backs and we're done. All right, well, where's the popcorn? <laughs> this feels really comfortable, man. We've never been this comfortable in the RV before, so this is really gonna be a game changer for us. But, you know, these Rec Pro recliners, these are the powered ones. Uh, we've been testing them in the house, so we know that they're good. But uh, yeah, they're really, they got some cool little features. You, know, you got a little light here on the, uh, on the little cup holder. And the cup holder also has a little USB charging port for your, uh, phone and you know whatever devices you have so that's pretty cool and the center console here has a couple of cup holders as well and it also has some storage so I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out these uh, these recliners on recpro.com you know we're really liking them I think the color that we got is uh, chestnut I think is the color that we that we chose so yeah I'm gonna continue working on this space here. It's certainly not done. I got some uh, trim to replace here on this side as well as I want to build a little console here on the side that has a you know power outlet, power receptacle, AC and DC. So you may have noticed I wired up an extra little outlet there. So that's what that's for. I'm going to build a little console there. And uh, we're also going to do something completely different with the lighting here. We don't like this overhead light right there so we're gonna try to think up something completely different but that's all for another day make sure that you are subscribed hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date on these uh on these remodel videos and uh you know go check us out on patreon if you want uh regular updates and uh, i will see you in the next one take care